Hello and welcome to our humble abode. So I just wanted to give you guys um, a quick update on where things are at. Um, today is the 17th of June. Um, things have started to lift ever so slightly. However, more things are coming into play because more people are going back to work. Um, you know, there's a lot more people out and about. Um, we've increased the amount of people that we're able to be around. So I think we can do um, outdoor garden type parties uh, up to 12 people as long as we are following the social distancing rules. Um, I know at my work, I've been there the whole time. We've not actually um, had any real impact. Um, so there's a bunch of people coming back to work and now we've um, enforced the one-way rule. So we're only allowed to enter through one door to get into the building. Um, we have to exit through another. Whereas, you know, last week that wasn't a thing. So new rules are coming into play um, because more people are out and about. Um, now, as, as some of you were aware or are aware, um, I was hoping to start making my way home uh, in the fall. Um, you know, things have just not gone to plan because of, of COVID-19. So I'm a little bit worried about travel um, and, you know, what I'm going to have to come home to, if I'm going to have to social distance when I get home or self-isolate or what have you. And I had these big grandiose plans of, of you know, how I wanted to get home. I wanted to do a tour of Europe and, um, you know, kind of do all the things I wasn't able to do while here because, you know, you kind of fall into your routine of, you know, homework, you know, go out with friends, that kind of thing. Um, and the traveling aspect falls to the side a little bit. Um, cause no matter where you are, you can kind of fall into a regular routine. So, um, you know, I wanted to kind of catch up on all the traveling that I didn't get to do. Um, especially now that Christina's gone, I did a lot of my traveling with her. So, um, I wanted to do a big chunk on my way back. Um, and just with everything being so uncertain, um, I've actually decided to postpone my homecoming. Um, so my visa expires on the 13th of February. Um, the 12th of February happens to be a Friday, so I've decided that that will be my last day of work, um, so the 12th of February. Um, and then from there, I am looking at still doing my Europe tour as long as I'm able to do so. Um, so some thoughts I've got um, in regards to that would be um, Amsterdam, Berlin, Prague, Krakow, Vienna, Budapest, Zurich, Munich, um, so those are just some ideas. So if you've been to any of those places, please let me know what you think. Um, are they okay to travel to in February, March? Um, you know, anything I should try, anything I should avoid. Um, the, the two spots that I need to be are in Amsterdam and in Paris. And the reason for that, um, unfortunately traveling with this dude, um, it makes things a little bit more difficult um, because I'm not actually able to fly Angus from the UK to Canada. I can only fly him from Europe. Um, and trying to get him from the UK to Europe is proving to be very difficult as well. Um, not a lot of airlines will allow dogs in the cabin. Um, and because he's brachycephalic, um, he needs to be in the cabin. Um, he's not able to be in the cargo bay um, just because it's not safe for him. He could die uh, just because he already struggles to get oxygen. So he needs to come in the cabin with me. So flying is kind of out of the picture to get me from the UK to Europe as well. Um, the train, I believe it's the Eurostar. It's the fastest, quickest way to get to Europe if you're not flying. However, they don't allow dogs. So that's out of the picture. So at this point, you know, planes, trains, automobiles can't drive. Next, um, I'm taking ferry. So I'm going to be traveling down to Newcastle um, and I'm gonna be taking a ferry from Newcastle to Amsterdam. Um, and then essentially all the travel in between is kind of up to me, whatever I decide I wanna do um, with of course the input if you guys have any. Um, and then as well um, to fly home, I will be flying home from Paris. Um, so I'm taking a WestJet flight um, from Paris to Calgary um, and then from Calgary uh, to Winnipeg. So it is only two flights. So I'm really lucky with that. Um, and I believe the first flight is 
nine to 10 hours. Uh, the second flight is only two, and I've made sure to have a large gap in between so we can get off the plane, collect our bags, grab an Airbnb, um, and have a good rest before we come home. So, you know, my goal is to be home on the 13th of March. Um, so, essentially that is a full 25 months that I'll have been gone from home. I feel like it's gonna be such a bittersweet moment for me. Um, you know, I've made a lot of really good friends out here and the thought of leaving them breaks my heart. Um, it's part of the reason that I've decided to stay longer, um, but the thought of not coming home also breaks my heart. So, um, you know, it's a tough spot to be in, but I would never, ever, ever trade it for anything. I don't regret coming here at all. Um, I love it. I love, you know, the different culture I love, you know, um, all the different things that I've learned and um, I'll definitely be coming back with with some new slang. Um, uh, so be prepared. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know where things are at. Uh, look how big my boy is getting. Oh my God, why are you so big? Also, Angus, um, is home quite often. Um, we're about to go for a walk actually, but um, because I got him very, probably, I wanna say six weeks before lockdown, he's not really had a lot of interaction um, besides seeing this mug every day. Um, so he needs a little bit more stimulation. So I'm thinking about putting him in daycare. Um, two days a week so that way he's only really home three days a week without me um, with that being said all the daycares around of course um, are requiring any any dogs over six months to be neutered um, which I'm a little bit wary about I don't I don't know that I want to do that to him um, I'm not actually able to breed him because he does have um, a slight abnormality um, so of course it wouldn't be right to pass that on to future puppies um, just to make a buck I know unfortunately a lot of people do do that especially with this breed because um, they're so darn cute but you need to make sure that you're um, doing the ethical thing so I will not be breeding him um, at any point in his life so I mean the need to keep him intact I guess is not really there however I don't know if I want to subject him to that. Um, the reason being is um, Frenchies in particular, when you put them under, um, their risk of not coming back out is a lot higher um, as well. I mean, I don't really want to put him in any kind of pain. I don't want him to have to wear that stupid cone. Uh, you know, just a couple of things that, that I would prefer not to have to deal with. Um, so there is another option. I spoke to my vet um, and it's an implant. So the implant lasts for 12 months. Um, and it essentially works like an implant would work for a human. Um, but I believe they have to just remove it and replace it. Um, it is the same cost as it would be to do just a one time, you know, standard castration. But again, I don't know if that's the route I'd like to go. So if you guys have any thoughts on that, you know, let me know. Um, I, I always do a lot of research when it comes to things like this. Um, so I'll definitely be speaking to other vets about it, doing a lot of reading. Um, I just wanna make sure that I'm you know, doing right by him, making the best choice for him. Cause again, it is a choice that I'm making for him. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I'll do the right thing. But I do definitely wanna get him into daycare so he can you know, socialize and hang out with some other, um, other dogs and uh, you know, just have a little bit more fun in his life. Um, so that's the plan, hey buddy. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Um, 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 I say um a lot. I hear it in my own head, so don't fault me for it, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, so that's it, that's all. Um, we're gonna go for a walk, gonna have some dinner, um, and then chill for the night, maybe play a little Witcher, maybe watch a new movie. I saw a preview for this one called Hooking Up with I think Britney Snow, uh, seems terrible. It's a raunchy rom-com, not really my type of movie, but I don't know, we'll give it a go. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye, say bye.